Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. Welcome back to my channel. This is the last video of the Kate Bag video series. If you haven't done so already, visit my website to get the pattern so you can make the Kate Bag with me. Link can be found in the description box. If you are new to my channel, make sure you watch the other videos in this series. Otherwise, let's finish our Kate Bag. Take the zipper tabs and fold two opposite edges towards the center and press them flat. Take the remaining number 5 zipper and if you need to, trim it down to 39 cm. Then take your zipper tabs and wrap them on each end of the zipper. Hold it with clips and stitch close to the edge. Trim both zipper tabs to the same width as your zipper. You need to mark midpoints along the top edge of the panel and on both sides of the zipper. Decide which way you want the zipper to open. Usually I like the zipper to open in the same direction, both on the pocket and the top of my bag. Place the zipper facing down and line up those midpoints. Then you can clip the zipper to the front panel. We need to base the zipper using 5mm seam allowance. With right side facing down, Place the front lining on top and align the top edge along the zipper. You can sew the seam 1 cm from the edge. Open the panels and press the seam allowance towards the external fabric. Then you can top stitch along the zipper, making sure you catch the seam allowance underneath. Once you've top stitched the seam, bring the panels wrong sides together and you can press down the lining to flatten the seam. Next, take the external back piece and we're going to center the other side of the zipper along the top edge. Clip them together, then take to the machine and baste using 5mm seam allowance. Now you can take the back lining piece and with right side facing down, place it on top of the front and align at the top edge. Sew the seam using 1 cm seam allowance. Press the seam allowance towards the external back piece, then top stitch along the zipper. With right side facing each other, bring the external front and back panels together and lay them flat. On one side you should have the lining front and back with right sides together 
and the external pieces together on the other side. We need to line up the side edges along both the external and lining pieces and clip them together. On the external panels, sew the seam using 1 cm seam allowance. However, on the lining, we need to stitch the seam at an angle. Use 1 cm starting at the zipper and increase it to 12 or 15 mm around the base. You need to repeat this on this side, but leave a large opening here so you can turn the cade bag right side out. Once you've stitched the side seams, you may want to trim the seam allowance by half, especially on the external pieces, and to reduce the bulk, cut out the stabilizer. As you can see, I decided to add purse fit to my cade back. I do not include this option in the sewing instructions, but I wanted to let you know that this is always an option, because they are super easy to install. You need to mark the fabric where you want them to be, cut the fabric, then insert the prongs into those slits. Add a washer and bend the prongs in opposite directions. Instead of covering individual foot, I decided to cover the entire base with some fusible fleece. This added more stability to the base panel and this is something I really like in my larger bags. No one likes a saggy bottom, am I right? Always mark midpoints on your front and back and transfer all notches on the base panels. They are there to help you line up the fabric. So grab the lining base and first match the midpoints and side seams on the main panels and the base. After that, it will be easier to align and clip the edges around the base. Use plenty of clips and if you want, hand base the seam before going to the sewing machine. We are going to sew the seam around the base using 12 mm seam allowance. Make sure you have the top zipper open, then take the external base and clip it to the external panels. In exactly the same way we just did on the lining. This time, however, we are going to use 1 cm seam allowance to sew the seam.
I would recommend trimming the seam allowance by half. Using the opening in the lining, turn the entire bag right side out. Ok, make sure you have the lining out of the bag, then open the zipper pocket and pull out the lining through the pocket opening. When you access the side seam with that unfinished seam, line up those edges, clip them together and finish the seam. After that, you can insert the lining back into the bag, but keep the zipper pocket back outside because we also need to close that opening. To do this, you need to line up those folded edges, clip them together, then stitch close to the edge. Congratulations! The Kate bag is now completed. If necessary, give your bag a final press. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a comment or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. If you haven't done so already, make the adjustable strap and pack your bag. I have separate videos on how to create a single piece or two-tone adjustable straps, so watch them and pick whichever strap you like the most. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun as I had. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.